Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now learn about the divisibility by 4 rule. So when, how do we know a number is divisible by 4? So a number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its last two digits is divisible by 4. So in this case again you do not need to focus on the length of the number. It doesn't matter how big the number is. You just need to focus on the last two digits. So for example you have a number 492. So you really do not need to bother about the entire number. Just focus on the last two digits. That is the digit as the unit place and the digit at the tens place. So altogether that is 92. So now you have to check by actual division if 92 is divisible by 4 or not. And that is pretty simple. So if you actually check this, what do you see? You see that 92 is divisible by 4 and therefore this entire number would be divisible by 4. Now this it is more advantageous for bigger numbers. For example, let's say you have a number like this 341208. And if I ask you if this number is divisible by 4 or not, it is tough to divide such a big number by 4. So you just look at the last two digits which is 8 and which is clearly divisible by 4. Therefore, the entire number is also divisible by 4. So here again you might be curious to know how this rule works that how, why do we need to verify the last two digits if they are divisible by 4. So let's take the same number which is 341208. So the first thing that we will do in this case also is we will expand the number. So this is at units place, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and lakhs. So 3 into 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 4 into 10,000 plus 1 into 1,000 plus 2 into 100 plus 0 into 10 plus 8 into 1. This is how you will expand the numbers. Now what we do? Now here in like in case of 3 what we did we wrote 1000 as 999 plus 1 because 999 was divisible by 3 but in this case we want to check the divisibility by 4 so we will follow a different trick. So here what is the trick that we are going to follow? Now looking at these numbers we have to decide that how these numbers are going to help us to find its divisibility by 4. Now if you look at it, you see that is 10 divisible by 4? 10 is not divisible by 4, right? Because when you write the multiples of 4, it would be something like 4, then 8, and then 12, and so on. So 10 is not divisible by 4. But what about 100? Is 100 divisible by 4? Let us quickly do an actual division to see if 100 is divisible by 4. And what do we see? We see that 100 is divisible by 4. Now since 100 is divisible by 4, that means any multiple of 100 would also be divisible by 4. Therefore, multiple of 100 is also divisible by 4. So that means if 100 is divisible by 4, then 100 into 10, that is 1000, is also divisible by 4. Then 100 into 100, that is 10,000, is also divisible by 4. Then 100 multiplied by anything will also be divisible by 4. Right? So that way is when you look at these terms, what do you see? So with this you will see that this term is divisible by 4. Why? Because this term is basically a multiple of 100. What about this term? This term is also divisible by 4. This term contains 1000 so it is also divisible by 4. 
this has 100 so this is also divisible by 4 so what are we left with we are left with these two terms so basically what are we left with we are left with 0 into 10 plus 8 into 1 that means the digit at the units place and the digit at the tens place so we are basically left with these two digits and that is what we are doing. What we are saying is if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4 because these last two digits are the ones which we are unsure of, which we are not sure. Our doubt is only that whether the last two digits are divisible by 4 or not because the remaining digits are always divisible by 4. So the doubt lies only with the last two digits and that is why we have made this rule like this. So let us quickly look at these numbers and see if these are divisible by 4. So the first number is 2, 4, 5, 6. So we will focus only on the last two digits that is 56. Now by quick division we will see if 56 is divisible by 4. So this is 4 ones are 4 and then 4 fours are 16. So 56 is divisible by 4 therefore this entire number is divisible by 4. Look at this number. This is such a huge number. Now, it, this number can actually scare you if somebody asks you to quickly tell if this is divisible by 4 or not. But with this divisibility rule, it will not scare you because you need to bother only about the last two digits, which is 61. And it is pretty simple to actually divide and see if 61 is divisible by 4 or not. Now, in this case, what do you see? You have a reminder. So that means 61 is not divisible by 4 and therefore this number as a whole is not divisible by 4. Let's look at the third number. So this is also like a 9 digit number. So let's focus on the last two digits which is 44 and 44 is divisible by 4 because 44 is nothing but 4 into 11. So it is divisible by 4. Therefore this entire number is also divisible by 4. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.